From infrastructure to education, to transit to economic development, state and local leaders are spotlighting items in the new state budget they say will benefit Western Pennsylvania. The budget's boost for redeveloping old industrial sites to attract new businesses pleases County Executive Sarah Inamorato. That $550 million in new economic development programs from DCED is going to be absolutely a game changer. The $500 million for the shovel-ready sites to support major construction projects and good-paying, family-sustaining jobs is critical. Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis says it can also help bring change to downtown. We've had a significant conversation here in Western Pennsylvania about how we re rehabilitate buildings that need new uses, how we reinvent and reimagine downtown. These dollars are going to go a long way to the efforts that the mayor and the county executive are leading here locally. Mayor Ed Ganey is glad to see commitment to infrastructure. There's nothing more important than talking about why we need safe roads and safe bridges. We've all been down that path before. So when I see the investment that this state budget has made in infrastructure, I'm very grateful, and I know that labor is too. The budget passed by the legislature and signed by Governor Shapiro boosts state funding for K through 12 public schools in Allegheny County by 10 percent. Certainly we all know about the statewide investment of $1.3 billion in education, how it's going to impact Allegheny County and the city of Pittsburgh going forward. A divided legislator is not always easy to deal with. You proved that it can happen. So I commend you for always putting the people first. By the city county building downtown, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.